Hey everyone, welcome back to the seventh video of the Kotlin uh, Sudoku uh, Android app tutorial. Um, in this video, we're gonna add, we're gonna fix up some UI stuff. So last time we kind of messed up the buttons a little bit, so we're gonna fix that. And then we're also gonna add um, delete functionality to our uh, Sudoku game. So first thing we need to do, let's actually just update the UI to add a delete button. Um, so to do this, first thing we need to do is get a drawable again. So just like last time, we're gonna go to this drawable, so the res folder drawable, and then do a new vector asset, and then go to the clip art section, and I think it's like back arrow or something like that. We're just gonna use this keyboard backspace. Um, so press okay on that. And then we'll just call this uh, delete black. So it's a black icon um, and a delete icon. And then just press next and finish. And then you should have this delete black um, XML code here. And then you should also be able to see that it works, that it looks like what we want it to look like. Okay, so now let's add a button for that. Um, so to do this, go to layout, <coughs> activity play Sudoku XML. And then we're gonna go to the bottom of our stuff and take this image button code that we wrote last time, copy it over, call this uh, delete button instead of notes button. And then it's still in the third row and then we're gonna put it all the way at the end. So uh, column two, and then just change this source compat to be uh, delete black. So that we use uh, the black icon, or the delete icon instead. And we should see, yep, looks great. All right, now let's update our actual Sudoku uh, activity. So first thing we're gonna do is we need to add some sort of on-click listener for the delete button. So right here we go to delete button dot set on-click listener. And then all we're gonna do is go into the view model Go to Sudoku game and call delete. And this is a function we're gonna define uh, in a little bit just to delete the current cell basically. Um, let's see, what else do we need to do? Oh yeah, so we also need to update the, uh, the, the color change of the buttons so that we don't lose the styling like we did in the last video. So first thing we're gonna do is just pull this guy all the way out into a color. So if it, just copy this, otherwise color out light gray. Basically the same way we did it down here. Um, I feel like it was just kind of gross to have this if statement when it wasn't really doing that much. And then all we do is notes button dot background dot uh, set color filter. And then we pass in the color that we want to use, and then the porter duff dot mode dot multiply. I don't know exactly what this does, um, but it was what I found online um, in order to keep the styling and not mess it up, basically. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. So we can just copy this, and instead of using notes button, it's just going to be button. So that should maintain our styling and not make everything gross, basically. All right, now we just have one small change. Um, what we're gonna do here is actually add the delete functionality. So we need to add a function here, we'll call it delete. And basically inside it's gonna do two things based on the state of the app. If we're currently taking a note, we should just clear all the notes out and if we're not currently taking a note, we should just set the cell value to zero. And then we need to post that value to the live data to update um, our front end. So let's just grab the cell like usual. Should probably just add a helper function for this. Um, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And then if is taking notes, we'll just do cell.notes.clear. So that's gonna clear everything out of the set of notes. And then we're also gonna update the highlighted keys um, since we've, we can actually just do setup because we know it's gonna be empty. Um, 
since we've since we've cleared all the nodes, we don't want to highlight any keys anymore. So we just need to post an empty set, and then the UI will handle that. And then if we're not taking notes, what we're doing is changing the cell value. So we'll just set that to zero. And then of course, we still need to uh, post the new cells to the UI. Otherwise, nothing will change. Like our back end will look different than the front end, basically. So post all the cells. Um, and that should be it for the changes we need to make. So let's run this and see what happens. OK, let's take a look at this and make sure it works. So first thing we're going to do is go to note taking mode, and we can see that the UI is no longer getting messed up. Our, our note-taking stuff still works. If we do delete, it clears the whole thing. Perfect. And then we can also delete these guys. So that looks like it's working just fine. Um, one other thing I wanted to change, I forgot about this, was just these colors. Basically, you define some default colors in your Android app, and I think these are kind of gross. I kind of want them to go along with this green theme, because uh, green's my favorite color. But uh, yeah, so let's do that really quick. So to do that, let's go to the res folder again. And then in here, we have this values folder, which just stores a bunch of constants, basically. So colors.xml, we can just change that. And I have a couple of predefined colors that I've already got. So 6EAD3A for the primary, um, 236416 for the darker color, and then 793AAD. Sorry, the uh, tornado siren is going off in the background, but basically this will be our three like colors. And then since we're using color primary in the play Sudoku activity, it should um, it should just use these colors for us. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.